È l'ultima della sua specie. Lei contiene tecnologie perdute 300 anni fa. Minaccia l'ordine naturale delle cose. Alita, verranno per te. E io li combatterò. In the beginning of the movie, uh, she thinks that she's just an, uh, an insignificant girl uh, threw away with the garbage. So m many little girls, young girls, um, may feel the same way because the world is constantly saying to them, you can do this, you right. can do that. So in Europe, how can we uh, let them know that uh, if they want, they can accomplish anything? Yeah, I mean, we can tell them that, you can show them that, but what I love about movies is They see it for themselves. They see a character that they respond to, go through mm -hmm. that course and that life, and it can inspire them. That's the beauty of art and storytelling. It helps um, show people a path and a code and a sort of way of thinking. Besides just being told, they see it. You know, even though it's fantasy, it makes it kind of real for them. Alita's uh, look on things is really pure, really innocent, but everybody seems to constantly remind her that she mustn't uh, trust other people, that she must uh, think only about herself. So how much do we need a poor look on things right now? Well, the pure look on what's going on <laughs> would be so horrifying mm. that we would actually, you know, it would be a... a a gaze into the abyss. So a little delusion might help to survive. <laughs> um, yet, of course, it's, it's important to see and not despair. And um, if you want to change something, you have to recognize it. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure about the proportions. I'm not sure about how much Um, gaze into the abyss is healthy mm. um, and I'm not sure about how much agitation without really rec recognizing is healthy either you know that's why I say I think we need moderators mm. and not leaders we've always needed it Mm -hmm. um, it it'll always be relevant, it'll always be timely. That's the beauty of this film. I think that right now, uh, uh, we're women in general are very on, uh, we're on the precipice of sort of making it over that hill. Uh, we've been pushing this movement forward for so long, for centuries our sisters have been doing this and This is, this is another big push of the boulder over the other side. Uh, we, we need this because we need to remind young women, just young people in general, um, not, to, uh, not to listen to everything. Sort of start to investigate that internal voice. Um, that instinct will, will guide you further than you know. Um, well, I think in this story it's really valuable you know in the story it's really valuable because she's able to find beauty in places that people uh, that that other people don't uh, value you know and I think that she's able to have a fresh perspective on things that people take for granted um, and uh, and I think that that's always uh, that's always really positive you know being able to look at things clearly and objectively and not take things for granted yeah I mean I think I think it's I think it's important to be um, aware um, but yes I mean I, I think I think the best thing about Alita is her positive outlook she has such a um, innocence about her and um, how she is so happy and wants to portray that is uh, is, um, is yeah it's it's, imp it's important for all of us to Um, you know, show love and, and positivity. I, I think Alita is, is very aspirational on what our goals should be, mm -hmm. which is to try and see our world with fresh eyes. We have brought a, a, a prejudice to every day that we, we move forward, and Alita doesn't. She brings a, a wide-eyed wonder to it. And she also sees beauty in things that we might not. And I think it's a great reminder to us to find the beauty in something and not to find the turmoil in it. Mm -hmm. Hai commesso il più grande errore della tua vita.
sto con lei.